introduce you to a company that is out to tame the brain of an alcoholic. BioCorex uses an implant for people who suffer from alcoholism, and it is designed to help curb those cravings. Kent Emery is the chief executive of the California company that runs the Start Fresh program. And also with Kent is an implant patient and an actor who's best known for his role in Growing Pains, Jeremy Miller. Thank you very much for both being here. Pleasure Appreciate it. Uh, Kent Emery, let's just start off with BioCorrects and this uh, Start Fresh program. What, what kind of implant are we talking about? It's a, an implant. Uh, it's, it's a technology that's been around for a while as far as using an implant. It's really the, de the delivery system we're using to deliver a drug that's been around for a long time, and that's naltrexone. Uh, naltrexone is a drug that's been proven. It's actually been around since the 60s, um, typically given in a, as an, an, uh, an oral drug. Uh, the problem with that has been that if you're an alcoholic or an addict addicted to any drug, um, to get them to consistently take that drug and make sure that they're, so to help keep them on the wagon uh, was difficult to do. If, if the holidays came along and there's a party coming up, well, I can stop taking it for a couple of days. I'm okay. Go ahead and go to the party, and then I'll get myself back on. And getting themselves back on was always the, the difficult part of the process. So we've managed to get control of that by doing a surgical implant under the skin, which uh, can't be removed. So therefore, you can no longer uh, control whether or not you continue to take the naltrexone. It's released slowly into your system over the course of 8 to 12 months. Jeremy Miller, what's been your experience with this? It changed my life. I mean, it saved my life, no joke. Um, it was like someone flicking off a light switch. I mean, that's how drastic the feeling was. I went from obsessing about my next drink all day long, every moment of the day, to couldn't have cared less whether I had a drink or not inside of about three hours. When did you make the decision to have the implant? Uh, was early on in 2011. I had my implant done in, uh, June, on June 4th, 2011. So it was a few months before that I started looking into it. And uh, I had tried most of the traditional methods of, of getting sober. And I'm in no way putting those down. It just I had tried them. They didn't work for me. And I was looking for something, something else that might be able to help. And Were you scared? I was more desperate than scared. I was willing to do anything at that point. So the idea of a small, and the surgical procedure is extremely simple, so that part didn't scare me very much. I think what scared me more was the idea that maybe it wouldn't work. Right. Uh, you know, that I was trying something, you know, rather drastic and that, oh my goodness, I've tried everything else, this might be my last hope, and what if this doesn't do it? Kent, can you tell us a little bit about the people that are opting for this kind of implant numbers or what the potential marketplace is? Uh, first of all, I think the thing about alcoholism or any drug addiction is that it crosses all, all socioeconomic boundaries. Right. There's really no group that it affects uh, necessarily in, in more than others. Um, it's a $23 billion market if you think about addiction treatment. Uh, our company at BioCorrects is to hopefully just penetrate it, it, at least initially 1% of that and create some waves. Uh, and, and in doing that, there'll be $23 million in revenue. Uh, so that's sort of our goal over the next 18 months. Um, so the market really is open. We, uh, we have uh, people who come in and pay privately, um, but the, we've also had some success with having insurance companies pay uh, for at least a part or a large part usually of, of the implant. What kind of reaction, if any, have you received either from the government or from uh, Alcoholics Anonymous organizations? Um, I think that if you think about it, Alcoholics Anonymous, they really have uh, focused on the psychosocial part of addiction, which is what our country has sort of traditionally done. We've always focused on the psychosocial reasons why people drink. Um, what's neat about this is it addresses that physical need. So all of a sudden now, if we take care of those cravings, as Jeremy talked about, kind of flip that switch so the cravings are gone, we can really dig into the psychosocial reasons. Um, the program is sort of two-pronged. It starts with the implant, but you're required to then go on and, and have uh, counseling sessions over the next 12 months. Well, six to 12, I'm going to say. Six to 12 months, you have right. counseling sessions. So now instead of worrying about sort of the withdrawal or the DT time, the DT is done, we can dig in deep into why, what got you to where you are in the first place. That's Jeremy, if success. this had been available sooner or you had known about it sooner in your life, would you have done it or would you have continued to look for more traditional means? I would have done this in a heartbeat, uh, especially knowing what I know now. But, um, I mean, if I had heard about this earlier on, because I tried for probably five years to stop before I found this, I would, have, I would have jumped at the opportunity. Have you experienced any side effects? I experienced almost none. And most, I mean, well, actually, I experience none. Most of our patients experience very minimal if they experience anything at all, some mild headache, nausea, gastrointestinal distress, insomnia. That's about it. I mean, it's an incredibly benign medicine.
Did you know about this medicine previously and were just concerned about the consistent dosing or uh, how did you come to connect with this? I had no idea about naltrexone. I, I didn't know it was available. I didn't know it was an option. Um, I, I, I'm not good at taking pills. So had it been an option for me in oral form, it's probably not something I would have pursued because I've never been great about sticking with that, especially while trying to battle, you know, battle that craving. Um, that's kind of why the implant was such a perfect fit for me. You know, Jeremy, you, you said it saved your life. It all, did it also save your acting career? Um, I, I still act. I, right. It did save my, my career. I'm, I'm a chef as well. It saved my work in that area. It saved my family. I mean, my kids can actually not only stand me, but love to be around me. My fiance probably every other month thanks me for doing it you know, for three years running now. I mean, it really changed everything for me. L last point to you, Kent. Is this a technology that can be used for other kinds of uh, drugs and disease combinations? Yes, actually, um, naltrexone has been shown to be even more effective on things such as heroin addiction. Um, and so right now, knowing this epidemic of heroin addiction that's occurring in the U.S., as we speak, uh, we are now moving into the heroin addiction uh, uh, segment of, of addiction right now. So we're, we're going to be addressing, uh, I guess we're breaking into a whole new market share, which is really exciting for us. Uh, Notrexin is still going to be very effective on heroin addiction and over-the-counters and opiates and so forth. All right. Well, keep us up to date on what you're doing. Much appreciate appreciated. So much. Kent Emery uh, with BioCorrects and uh, also Jeremy Miller, the actor. Thanks very much for being here. Appreciate Pleasure. it.